Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and I am doing a little bit different kind of video today. Thought it might be fun today to do a little bit of behind the scenes and what happens before the live streams. You guys always see us start on the live streams and we say hi to everybody, start the live stream usually facing a castle, spaceship earth, you know, the Chinese theater, tree of life, you know, one of the icons of each park or whatever it is. Um, but you don't see everything that goes into the stream before the stream happens. And so I thought it might be fun to just show you uh, today on Saturday, September 30th, we're about to do Saturday Night Live park hopping between Epcot and Magic Kingdom. I'll probably post this on Tuesday, so by the time you see it, it'll be a few days from now. But uh, I just wanted to show you kind of what goes into making these streams possible and uh, all the things that, that we do to get ready for the stream all the way up until we start the stream. And I'll probably end the vlog uh, when I'm streaming just to kind of show you you know, hey, I'm streaming now and here we go. So it's gonna be a little bit informal. I'm just gonna be holding my iPhone. I'm not gonna be using a gimbal since I'll be using the gimbal for the stream. Uh, so it'll be a lot of fun though, just hopefully to show you behind the scenes and what goes on before the stream. So let's get started. Of course, first I have to set up the stream and uh, I do that here on my computer. And of course I can't really show that just because you know, I don't wanna accidentally show a password or a key or something like that uh, right next to my awesome Tandy. Uh, computer here in my office. So uh, obviously I can't schedule the stream on that, but oh, it's fun to play around with this when I get a, f a free minute. So I have quite the mess of cords over here, all the different chargers and things. I've got the gimbal plugged in and one of our spare batteries plugged in over here. And I got to get those loaded into the backpack ready to go. So every time we stream, I uh, charge the gimbal. It does last like 12 hours, but I never want to be running low on gimbal power because it's kind of awkward to have the phone and the gimbal plugged in be using two different batteries. So 12 hours, 16 hours, something like that is the battery life. And so it works well to just charge it uh, after every stream. I also charge the phone, of course, after every stream as well. And actually this is the backpack I usually use. I got it at a Disney media event. So it says Disney Thrills. It was the one for Tron uh, and it works really well because it's got a couple extra pouches and stuff. I did have another bag uh, that I used, but this one seems to be working a little bit better. It's a little bit lighter. So here is the phone that I use. It's a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is Grimace. The way we, all, we always talk about, you never get to see Grimace on the stream, but um, we call him Grimace because he is a lavender color. Um, so it's kind of purplish anyway, but that was actually the cheapest way to get um, the biggest storage. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, it's just a regular Galaxy S23 Ultra. Charge it every time. Super thankful to have it. It's an amazing phone. As you can see, it's got all the cameras there. It's actually got five different cameras. One of them is like a depth sensor type of a thing. So there's actually four regular usable cameras. Uh, super fun to be able to use that. And again, it has great sound. Uh, it's really good because the actually microphone, there's microphones on this side and then there's one on the other side as well. So you get that true stereo effect. But it's got a great place for the phone here in the bag so I can kind of keep it separate. And batteries go up front here. Got batteries and a cord here in the front of the backpack. I also usually put the um, ears that go around the windscreens for the phone there in the front as well. There they are. That's what the windscreens look like. So if you ever wonder why we say we've got ears on our phone, when you put these on the phone, it does actually kind of look like ears. So that actually uh, protects those microphones that I just showed you. And uh, it prevents a lot of the wind noise, not all of it. And this is our Moza Mini MX gimbal that we use. Uh, it works really, really well. And um, I've had these for a long time. This is my third one. I've actually still got the other two. One of them I think I'm gonna recycle because the, the trigger button's broken. The only problem with it is the trigger kind of sticks out here. So um, it actually makes it a little bit precarious, but uh, otherwise it's a really solid gimbal. It folds up really small, as you can see. Uh, so it fits nicely in the backpack. Also gotta have my Resort TV One hat because you know gotta protect myself from the sun there. So I love that. It was made by our friends at Corner Sports. Um, and then I just have to repack everything here. Got our umbrella here. Always want to keep that umbrella handy. This is like a Lambrella, I think. Um, so I don't have any Amazon affiliate links. I tried that and I forgot to uh, keep up with it. So maybe we'll add those back on again, but you can search for these if you want to check these out. Uh, and then I've got the uh, tripod that goes with the gimbal. I don't use that very often, but if I need to set the gimbal down, it's got to be on this tripod. So that goes in the Moza bag and we get ready and packed up to go. All right, everything's packed up in the bag and ready to go in the big bag. So get all that in here. I have to take the umbrella and the batteries and the phone out and just hold those in front of me so that it doesn't set off the uh, security alarms there going into the parks. It makes it faster and then I don't have to usually go through bag check. I'm able to get all the metal stuff and, and place it out. The gimbal usually doesn't go off, so that's good. Then I get my two bottles of water um, because I try to not buy as much water in the parks, but obviously you can only carry so much. The bags get really heavy. So I have one in the bag and one goes on the side over here. All right, the bag is packed and ready to go. 
in the car and ready to go. Super excited. Going to be heading to Magic Kingdom first and then eventually taking the monorail to Epcot. Maybe do a ride or two before we go over to Epcot. We'll see. But that'll just be maybe on the vlog. We'll see how that works. But uh, definitely excited to get going. So I'll be using this little octopus-like gimbal here to uh, show you some views as we drive into Walt Disney World and towards the Magic Kingdom. Put it up right up here on the uh, dashboard and try that out. All right, here we are. Main gate of Walt Disney World. I love coming in the main gate just because it's so pretty and uh, got all the characters here and everything. It's just the biggest gate. Uh, one of the easiest ways to get to Magic Kingdom. And uh, yeah, just love driving through the resort here. It's always so beautiful. And you got the blue signs and the purple signs. It's kind of interesting. I don't know why they chose to change to the blue signs. Now that one up there is actually like an LED so it can change, which is weird that you'd think they'd want to make it purple to match the ones right behind it, but I don't know. But then they've got some permanent ones up here that are also blue. So kind of interesting, kind of strange, but uh, either way, always magical driving through Walt Disney World Resort here. And you've also got the Tower of Terror over there on the right. You can see, catch a real quick glimpse of it as we go by Hollywood Studios. All right, well, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the ride. driving in here we got the awesome Halloween decorations and uh, ready to go and of course here I'm lucky to just be able to show my annual pass and uh, not have to pay the $25 parking fee and off we go and we are off now, a lot of people haven't seen this I think we've live streamed it at some point but this uh, this bridge up here is new and it goes over to the resorts sorry if the camera's a little shaky I can't quite seem to get it set up properly in here. Steph does a better job with this than I do, but you can still see kind of what's going on. If you want to go to the car care center, you keep left. So that's, that's a new exit ramp over there as well. But it's a lot more efficient uh, for entry and exit of traffic. There used to be major bottlenecks um, going to Fort Wilderness and heading to the resorts and everything. And now all the traffic is kind of diverted a little bit more compartmentalized to where it needs to go with exit ramps and less stoplights and things like that. So overall, it was a big investment by Disney and uh, a huge win for efficiency. And that's something too, Disney doesn't always get credit for. Stuff like that that's outside the park, you know, nobody's nobody's that excited about, uh, about a new bridge, but it really does help when we talk about efficiency and things like that. Coming into parking, you always gotta uh, pay attention to where the preferred parking goes and where the standard parking goes. And I never play, pay for preferred because I don't mind the exercise. I'm going to be walking a lot in the parks anyway, and so I just use my standard annual pass parking. Yeah, but I know some people do like the preferred, and that's cool. It's an option if people want to pay for it. Got the tram pulling up over there. A lot of people waiting for the tram. We'll see. I don't know. I'll have to decide. I don't always take the tram. We're not that far out, which means it might not be that busy, actually, because here we are. You know, we're just part of the way down Scar here. Um, obviously, it's, it's only one... 37 as I pull in here you guys can't see the clock but um, I don't know it's not that crowded so maybe we'll get lucky and it won't be too bad in the parks today we'll see <laughs> only time will tell the parking's always nerve-wracking gotta watch if somebody opens their door too early and watch the cast member and make sure you get all the way up all right sunglasses on ready to go let's decide whether we're gonna do the tram or just walk it we'll see and of course, as you come to the end of the road, you gotta pay attention to where you parked. Scar 415, not too bad. All right, so the tram just left. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just walk it rather than waiting for the next one because usually it's a little bit easier to just walk and it's a good exercise. We're not that far. So I'm just heading up around the corner here and we'll be there. 
and I just heard the uh, Liberty Bell give a whistle. So that's how you know you're getting ready to go in the park. You hear that Liberty Bell whistle and uh, to see the beautiful sights. See the little castle placards there telling you where to go. All right, well, that didn't take long at all. Here we are. We are ready for the dual metal Mickeys greeting us as we enter the TTC. And so a lot of people don't get to see these. If you stay at a resort and take the bus, don't park in regular Magic Kingdom parking, you don't get to see Metal Mickey. I love it. He's like a cutout. Super cool. And then of course you have the little bridge here, which is the road that goes over to Polynesian. And the tram goes underneath, of course. to be a walkway on the other side but it was very narrow on both sides so they just put the walkway on one side and now it's a lot wider plus you don't have to cross over there was a place where you had to cross over at one point and it got dangerous with people crossing right in front of the trams it also made the trams have to wait so they uh, did a really smart thing and just made it so people are walking around so there's no issue with tram traffic and pedestrian traffic all right so i made it through security this is what i carried through with me I got my uh Umbrella, my two batteries, and my phone. So there you go. All right, so we've got monorails here, ready to go over to Epcot. We're not going to do that yet, though. Got a ferry boat to the left, and the Magic Kingdom monorails right in front. We're going to take the express monorail because it's my favorite way to go into the parks. Even though I do love the ferry boat, I usually do that one later at night for some reason, just the way it goes. A monorail coral departing up there. We'll see which one we get. All right, looks like we've got, is it Monorail Lime? Corner there. The yellow or lime, hard to see. Yep, definitely lime. Guys, I'm waiting for the monorail and I ran into this guy with a gimbal, so I guess he's doing some park hopping too. How you doing? Good, how are you? Awesome. Good to see you guys. Good day so far? Oh, great day. Awesome. Loving the cloud cover itself. Yes, it's beautiful. All right, monorail time. Oh, you can hear the recording, that's cool. Full house. <laughs> and off we go. Try ultra wide. Ooh, that works well. This cast member break area over there on the corner. It's Chef Mickey's next to that. Well, now that we're stopped, we can look around a little bit. Really cool. And off we go. El Tempo Cafe, one of my favorite places to eat. Mary Blair artwork. Amazing.
definitely a beautiful day today. Enjoy looking at Bay Lake there. Bay Lake, one of the natural lakes in Walt Disney World compared to Seven Seas Lagoon, which is man-made. even a Halloween party night. Wow. Yeah, super, uh, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of optimism and just excitement for the day. Whenever I walk down the ramp, I know a lot of you do too, but you know, people ask, go, oh, you live here, so is it still magical? Do you still get excited? Yep, absolutely. It's actually not too crowded out here in the main ticket area. We're here. Yay. <laughs> Got my Resort TV One hat on, and again, it's a gorgeous day. Wow. So it turns out that uh, I didn't have a park reservation. I've gotten so used to uh, after 2 p.m. going in any park and all that, but Magic Kingdom is the one that you always have to have a reservation for on Saturday, no matter what time. Uh, so I grabbed my park reservation and I'm in, no problem, ready to go. So I think I wanna ride a couple rides before the stream starts. Sometimes we do that, you know, just because it's fun to just ride a few rides and not have to worry about streaming or, or uh, you know filming or making sure there's connection or anything like that. Of course, we love streaming, you know, we love it more than anything else, but sometimes it's great just to ride the rides too. So this time, today, you get to come along for that. Hello, Pumpkin Mickey. <laughs> Here, you leave. Today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. I gotta do that as many times as I can because it's so important to remember. As you go through this gate, you're entering a different world. Here we are. So we got about an hour till the parade, so it's not too crowded out here on Main Street. Sorry if you hear any wind noise, it's very breezy, but honestly, the breeze feels nice. All right. And the flag is at half staff, it looks like, so I'm not sure why that is, but uh, hopefully somebody in the comments can let me know. Either way, I know it's always for something really important, but I uh, am not aware right now. And one of my favorite things, even though I come here so often, one of my favorite parts of the day is that very first view of the castle. So incredible. And you can do it several different ways. Today I decided to come straight on, uh, but sometimes I'll go around to the side of the Emporium so you get a little bit more dramatic reveal. Super, super cool. And of course you got the photo spot here. It's very popular because it's a great picture. Dapper Dan's are performing over here as well. What a beautiful day, my goodness. It just feels so wonderful. 
I don't know. Wow. The humidity's low. It's not too hot. I love it. And it looks like the uh, stage show up there is uh, happening. It looks like Elsa is performing up there on the stage. I think I hear the bass line of Let It Go. <laughs> there they are. Citizen clock is painted back to its regular green. It was painted uh, gold for the 50th, and now it's back to its original color, but with kind of gold accents around it. I don't know if the gold accents were originally there, or they just left them because it looked amazing. I hear when Irish eyes are smiling, um, one of our resort hoppers, Dapper Tom, he actually uh, sung with the Dapper Dans. I should say sang, I'm sorry. He sang with the Dapper Dans uh, on a video that we did. And then uh, Dapper Tom sadly passed away, but uh, what a cool memory for him and for his family to have through our vlog there. That was such an honor to be a part of that that day. Uh, I caught the end of the show. Always oh, so great. I'm up here on the top of the train station now because I'm going to do a relaxing stroll with all the fall decorations. So one of the things we've mentioned before, but when we are here at the parks, uh, especially if I get to be here early and not just right when the stream's starting, uh, try and film some extra videos. And it's been a while since I've had time to do that. So all of our regular videos, or at least for me, um, happen basically before the stream. So that's why a lot of times if you saw a Magic Kingdom stream and you might see a Magic Kingdom stroll because, you know, I try and do it all in one day and be efficient. So today I'm doing this vlog and a relaxing stroll and maybe even a night stroll right after. So, all right, well, I'll talk to you after I make the relaxing stroll. All right, just finished the stroll and now I need to get out the battery and charge the uh, phone so that it's ready for the live stream. We're on the sidewalk because the parade is about to start. Festival fantasy. We're not gonna watch that. We're gonna go ride a couple things and then have some dinner, an early dinner, to get ready for the stream. So since the stream is starting at five, I have to eat at around four just to make sure I have enough time and I'm not rushing too much. So the only problem with starting the stream at five is really early dinner time, but I didn't eat much for lunch, so I should be good. Well, no surprise where we're going first. We are heading on to the People Mover. I'm gonna ride it before the stream and during the stream because, you know, it's my favorite. So gotta do that. This will definitely be a welcome distraction. Uh, been dealing with something this afternoon that I wasn't planning on. We had uh, some scammers make a Facebook page and impersonate Resort TV One and tell people they won a contest, uh, which is totally a scam. So if you get a message like that ever, ignore it, delete it. Uh, it even had a website with our pictures on it and everything that it went to, then it wanted a credit card. So please remember we will never, ever, ever, ever ask for your credit card for anything. And we're not doing any giveaways, and if we are, we'll talk about them on a video and everything else. So yeah, it's sad that people do stuff like that, but I'm gonna try and take my mind off it by riding my favorite ride. Ah, uh, so nice. Enjoying the ride, my favorite ride. It's such a beautiful Greetings, day. intergalactic travelers. Welcome to the sky back the People there. Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Paul Fonick, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. Absolutely. Because the best stars, way. is there ever lots to see? If you need, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not. Thank you. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Play and Star Trail. Transfer to Green. Your express train keeps on rolling through the future, right by two of my favorite spots. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny ORAC. <laughs> Thank you. 
passengers from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. Oh wow, the lights are on. Hey, hey, hey. Got super lucky today. Let relaxation wash over you at the most refreshing retreat in the galaxy, the Coral Rooms of Pisces 7. You H2 owe it to yourself. Book today. I love that music. It's so relaxing. Yeah, they got all the lights on this time. That's cool. Of course, before this uh, structure was here, when they redid the ride, you could see a lot more uh, that they've put that in place so that it's a little bit darker inside the ride and they can project things on top of it and everything. So once we get past this little structure here, you can see a lot more. So these windows are not the cleanest, but you can see quite a bit. A couple different angles. It really does look like a giant erector set. and refreshed trying to decide whether I have time for another ride or whether I need to go just head and have dinner that's the hard part before streams is just figuring out what it's time to do next basically so anyway let's see what time it is all right so it's 3 35 so I think we'll probably just relax and stroll a little bit and then uh, go head over and get some dinner Taking a little stroll through Tomorrowland. It's not too crowded. Wait times aren't too bad, but been thinking about it, trying to think of our plan for tonight. I'm always coming up with a plan before the stream and then trying to figure out if it's gonna work and modifying as necessary. Of course, you always have to be flexible when you're at Disney World and especially when we're doing streams, trying to show you guys the best of all the parks. So with that in mind, I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat now since I'm hungry. I had very little lunch and uh, may just have to have a snack later, but probably just start the stream a little bit early so we have more time to um, head over to Epcot and see maybe a Boys to Men concert, and then um, head over back here to Magic Kingdom to see Happily Ever After and some rides. So let's see what happens. But uh, I'm gonna head over to Cosmic Rays, grab some dinner. All right, I've got my food. Really nice looking cheeseburger. Gotta have the pickles as well. Ready to go. I do like the restaurants that have the um, ketchup cups that you can fill up, but um, these are fine too. The pack is just, you have to have the napkins. It's a little bit extra work, but it's all good. So I'm excited to enjoy an awesome dinner. And because I've been doing this vlog the whole time, I have to have this phone plugged in too. So I've got it plugged into the backpack there and have a really great view of the Speedway. I like sitting outside here. 
kind of got in the habit of doing it during COVID. Um, but then now, you know, I, I can sit inside, you know, anytime. But I just like sitting outside because you kind of um, get the nice breeze. And uh, as long as it's not too hot. And you also kind of get yourself ready uh, for the temperature it's going to be during the stream. So I feel like if I get too cool down before a stream, then I won't be ready to be outside if it's super hot. Now, today it's pretty nice. So I'm just enjoying the breeze. Anyway, now I'm going to enjoy my food. So dinner was great, and now I'm getting ready to set up the stream. Got my backpack sitting here in Tomorrowland, getting ready to get the phone out. By the way, this is one of the uh, planners, like I, the one I fell over. It's actually the one I tripped over was over there somewhere. But so kind of funny that I'm using it to set up. But got to get the gimbal put together, get the uh, ears put on it, and get it ready for streaming. And so my plan to start the stream is to start while I'm on the people mover and not um, say anything until we get off. And we've done that before, of course, but it's just fun, kind of call it a rolling start where, you know, somebody clicks on the stream afterwards, it gets them started with something that's really interesting right off the bat rather than just talking right away. So kind of helps the replay value a little bit. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it helps just to, um, you know, start with talking and start on Main Street. So I try and change it up a little bit. Obviously we've done it so many times, there's really no way to do you know, something new every time, but um, I'm excited to ride People Mover and then we're gonna head right over to Epcot to do the Boys to Men concert. So I'll show you the phone when it's all set up and ready to go. All right, so here it is, ready to go. Got the gimbal, got the phone hooked onto it. I've got the uh, ears, I call them, or the windscreens, uh, put on each side, right covering the microphone. On each side, I just gotta make sure I don't cover the selfie cam. I do that sometimes and then you get um, the look of that uh, black, belt there or styrofoam or whatever it is black foam covering the uh, selfie cam so anyway i'm about ready to get in line for the people mover and get this thing started and on our way over to the people mover i forgot to mention i'm wearing uh, one of our it's really not so scary halloween shirts so definitely if you're interested in getting a halloween shirt like that <laughs> definitely go to uh, shop.resorttv1.com at shop.resorttv1.com and it will uh, lead you to all of the different shirts not just the uh, july 4th ones well not just the Halloween ones, but also the July 4th ones and uh, Christmas ones coming up and everything else. Great big, beautiful vacation. All the stuff that we've got, it's on shop.resorttv1.com. So if you're interested, I've got that on, uh, you know, we're getting close to uh, Halloween and I want to make sure that if people want those shirts, they know where to go to find them. So anyway, about to get in line for People Mover. So this is the hard part, kind of gauging when to start. I set the stream for five, but I think I'm going to start right when I get up there on the ride because I want to have time to see the Boys to Men concert. So there's always this, you know, looking at the watch and seeing what time is it? How much time do we have? And concert starts at 5.30 or we can stay for the 6.45 one, but then the fireworks here at Magic Kingdom are at 8.30. So I wanna make sure I have time to get over here for those for Happily Ever After. So lots of different variables. And I think I'd feel safer seeing the 5.30 show if we can. I'll probably be in the back using Super Zoom, but it'll be fine. So anyway, about to get started, super excited. All right, so the gimbal is armed and ready. Got it here. And we always use a compact setup. Number one, it gives us the best quality. And number two, it's super easy to maneuver and to use. And um, it's easy to maintain. There's not a lot of extra wires or anything. Like I said, you'll find that it uh, is just as good or better quality than any other setup that you'll see because we know how to set the uh, bit rate and all that correctly to make uh, great quality. And that's what we really like to do. So I also have to set my settings on the gimbal so that it, um, goes up and down it does it does up and down follow so if I tilt up the gimbal tilts up too tilt down tilt left tilt right so if you're ever wondering what that does that's what it does all right get ready to start Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Enjoy your journey. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y cuida a sus niños. Gracias. Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and I am live for park hopping from Magic Kingdom to Epcot. Welcome, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that people move a ride. And uh, also, everybody say hi to the vlog. 
We're actually doing a vlog behind the scenes of what it's like before we start the live stream. Do a little before the live stream vlog. So it's actually pretty long. So I'm gonna do that, post that on uh, Tuesday. It's Tuesday at 9 a.m. So everybody say hi. Hello vlog. <laughs> they flipped it upside down. So yeah. Hi everybody. The vlog is getting a behind the scenes. They get to see what the screen looks like now on the stream. So anyway, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you follow us on all the social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And again, check out the vlog Tuesday at 9 a.m. Something different, a little behind the scenes. And please watch your children. All right, guys, so we're about two hours into the live stream. It's the behind the scenes here, getting onto Spaceship Earth, and uh, super excited to continue a fun stream. All right, so here we are behind the scenes at the live stream, getting ready for Happily Ever After. You can see people in the chat, all the fun people in the chat. It's a little blurry, but you get the point. There we go. So yeah, we're getting ready for Happily Ever After. It's gonna be an amazing night, and we can't wait to share that with you on the live stream. So definitely make sure you go back and watch the live stream too. And you guys on the live stream, make sure you watch the vlog. Before we wrap this up for the night, don't forget to check out our awesome sponsors, Mickey Blog and MickeyTravels.com. That's MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Go check out MickeyTravels.com to book your next trip right here to Walt Disney World. We also have ResortTV1Homes.com. If you want to find your dream home here in Central Florida, just check out ResortTV1Homes.com and we will help you move to Central Florida. Fill out the contact form. We are brokered by EXP Realty. Also, if you want to rent a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, check out David's DVC Rentals at DVCRequest.com slash TV. That's DVCRequest.com slash TV. Tell them Resort TV one sent you. All right, guys, we just finished the live stream. Didn't do any more clips after Happily Ever After, but hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how we do our live streams and what we do before the live streams. So you got to see the other side of the camera, the gimbal, the setup, the whole thing, even how I pack my bag and what the bag looks like and all the things. Um, definitely uh, hope that you enjoyed again. Let me know if you want to see more of this type of thing in the future. And, um, you know, subscribe if you're new, all the things, leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.